Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we're back in Off-Road Outlaws and we're going to be doing a little bit of off-roading in a slightly unorthodox way if we can make it work. Um, but first, what I want to do is, uh-oh, this has, um, this has gone a bit wrong. It's not supposed to be spinning like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's doing this. There have been all sorts of odd glitches happening ever since the update came out, and the developer is aware of it, but I'm not sure what all is being done about it at this present moment in time. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this little guy right here, and we're going to do a little bit of a build. And when I say a little bit of a build, I want to do... Hmm. I want to... First thing I should probably do is I should... Oh, never mind. Okay, we're good. But I wonder, is this going to start spinning? No. Okay. Well, as long as it's not spinning. So, let's build this thing real quick. And what I want to do is build it to... Well, hmm. Stock engine. Yeah, we'll do a bit of a... Uh, <laughs> bit of a spending spree on this thing. All the way out. Why are these all, like, grayed out? That's weird. All the way up. Uh, diesel swap? Probably not. And all the way out. Uh, let's see. Gearbox. I mean, it's clearly like Yukon gear and axle logo. But, mm, E brake. Put the E brake on it. Tracks. Tracks, I'm not sure if I want to do. Um, hell, screw it. Tracks and a blower. Like a stage four blower. That, that'll that work. We do need to do a little bit of tuning. But at a certain point, at a certain point, it's going to get to the point where it's like it just makes enough power that it's not really like, it's not really a big deal yet anyway. But let's do a, let's do a dino run real quick. It's very loud. Perfect setup. Well, here. There, we'll get all that stuff done. And then... Uh, 20 runs. And run dino. Seven hundred and five horsepower and five hundred and twenty-nine foot pounds of torque. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so for now, let's tune the suspension a little bit and let's upgrade that all the way. Rear, let's upgrade that all the way. Now let's go back to the front. Axis width, we're going to push it out to a 0.5. And I just want to make sure to keep everything kind of symmetrical here. So we'll push the rear out to a 0.5 as well. Go back to the front and do... Oh, wait. Why the heck did I buy everything for, like, that type of suspension? I shouldn't have done that. I should have done Solid Pro. It's no big deal, but I should have remembered to do it. So let's see. Solid Pro that on and then now we can go back and finish all the tuning unfortunately we're gonna have to do all that stuff all over again but it's no big deal so let's do the rear do all of that and then now we'll go back to the front and then handle what we were going to handle uh before so 0.5 now is going to be a little wider but it's not a big deal make a 0.5 in the rear as well and dampening wise well let's handle dampening later and now let's handle travel because i want to lift it up to about 0 0.5, 0 0.5 should be good. Yeah, 0 0.5 should be good. Seems to be a theme right now. 0.5, not bad, not bad. It certainly works. Shock size, um, let's see, 1.7, that's okay. I'm definitely not like, not unhappy with that. I mean, it looks good. It doesn't, but it doesn't look like overdone either. In my opinion, it doesn't look crazy overdone. So let's make it just a little down to like an 18.5 on stiffness. So it has a little bit, little bit more flex. Not a ton more, but a little bit more. And I think that's about all we need to do, really. Like, I mean, now we just got to go drive it. Now, it does have tracks, so we can't really do that. But... Um, I do want to do a little bit of visual stuff before we take it out into the world. And I'm thinking for that, I don't want to mess with the front bumper, rear bumper, cage. 
Let's do a full exo. A full exo cage. Just go nuts with it. And should we do big fenders or no fenders? I'm thinking no fenders just because of the tracks thing. Uh, running boards, we don't need those now. Roof lights. Um, we could do... We could do a light bar. A light bar fits, I think. Snorkel, meh, maybe? I'm okay with it. The only problem is it kind of clips through the cage, but I'm not really, like... I'm not really mad about it, so I'm okay with running it. Um, spare wheel holder doesn't make sense because it's got tracks and it shouldn't need that. Um, exhaust pipes... Eh, it's not a diesel, so I'm not really going to do the whole, like, smokestack thing. And let's see, high lift jack. I'll take the high lift jack. Are there any other, like, places it can go? No. Okay. Uh, winch, we'll throw a winch on it. And front lighting, I'll probably just throw another light bar up front. And then headlights, I'll make them white. Gun rack, eh, repair pack, eh. That'll work. I dig it. Yeah, I dig it. I just, you know what I want to do? I want to repaint it. I don't know why I forgot about repainting it. Ooh. Let's see, gloss paint. I like that. It's, I like that too. Honestly, I like, uh, that works. That works right there. I'm, I'm, I'm up for that. That works. All right, so let's take this thing out into the world now and see what it's actually capable of. There we go. There we go. First thing I want to do is turn it around, and why is the mounting point for the trailer, well, effectively all wrong? Need some diff locks here. Hello? Why are you not going anywhere? Oh my god. Alright, let's turn this monstrosity around. I'm going to go back to that spot where my last where my last truck got stuck and I'm going to redeem myself with tracks and 700 horsepower. Oh my god, it's so fast. Oh my Okay, this is going to go well. Uh, and there it goes. Luckily, we rolled over because we were able to reset. If we hadn't have rolled over, we wouldn't have been able to reset and I would have been very very frustrated by that. And also, luckily, it's really easy to get that thing over rocks because of the tracks. This thing rips now. Holy crap. I bet it looks absolutely insane, too. Like, when you get on it, oh my god, look at that. You gotta admit, that, that, that's pretty, uh, that, that's pretty badass looking. Like, there's no way that, that that couldn't be badass, you know what I mean? But let's stop staring at it and actually pay attention to what we're supposed to be doing here. And that is, well, getting to the area that we kind of got stuck at last time. I really need to just put the camera in one spot and leave it there, because I want to get some momentum up. Let's keep that speed up, come on! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I don't know where that all goes, but... Ooh, brakes. Okay. Alright, this is where we almost were last time. Just from the other direction. It's a little tight, I gotta say. It's a little tight. A little bit of snow to deal with. Nothing too crazy, but definitely, definitely something that a little that, that some trucks would have a little bit of an issue with. And where did we get stuck, though? Because it definitely wasn't here. Was it back down here or over here? Maybe. I have no clue. Like, I li Oh, you know what? I bet you it was up in... Yeah, up in this area. It probably was. It probably was. Let's go down there, because that is probably where we need to be headed. Because I didn't actually look at the map uh, when, I, when I was messing around in the last video. 
So I don't remember where that was that we were. So which is kind of bad. I I will admit that's kind of uh, that's kind of like not not the greatest on my part. But we'll find it again. I'm sure. I don't know if we'll find it on this run, but we'll definitely find it again. Oh god, that was a lot of two wheel action. Calming that down is not the easiest. There it goes. I was going to say, calming that down is not the easiest thing to do. And it was another one of those scenarios where I was glad that it rolled over. Where am I turning left? Like, anywhere near here? Oh, crap. We actually have a lot further to go than I thought we did. And you know what I might do? Oh, I'm not going to cut it right there. Never mind. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll cut the, I'll cut the trail. But I was like, I looked at it, and I was like, that's ah, probably not worth it. Oh, no. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, God. Yeah, that's not good. That's really not good. Oh, my God. That's bad. Oh, yep. Nope. I was going to say we might be able to save it. And then I, I realized that the situation was a little bit worse than I might have originally assumed. There we go. Come on. Yes, 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 there we go. There we go. Winch to the rescue, for real. Good grief. I rarely use the winch in this game. I rarely, rarely use the winch. But that is one of those times where I will tell you that it is 100% worth it uh, to use the winch. Any mountain road with snow in this game is going to be interesting and it's going to be fun. Especially... If you have tracks and a trailer behind you. Because look at that. There's, there's, I mean, like, that is one hell of a rig. And I don't, I'm not, like, just saying that to be like, oh, yeah, it's a hell of a rig. No, like, that's, even, like, like to me, that's, like, a, that's, that's a legit rig. Okay, no, this is exactly where we were. All right, so I'm going to go down the obstacle, and then I'm going to come back up the obstacle, or at least attempt to, and hopefully I can make it. All right, and back down the other side, no problem. Now, to be fair, though, that's a lot easier than what we're about to have to do. First things first, turning around. That's already going to be a mission in itself. Because this is one hell of a, <laughs> one hell of a, like, setup to turn around. Let's put it in low for this. Oh, God. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna drive it out here. I was gonna say, I might as well. I might, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Come on, inch it. It's gonna take us longer to turn this freaking thing around than it is to do the obstacle. <laughs> That's not what my original... Go away. That's not what my original goal was, but it looks like that might be the series of events that's going to happen. Now, it seems, judging by the last video and this video, whenever I attempt to tow something in Off-Road Outlaws, it gets interesting real quick. Ooh, that's right near the edge. That is so right near the edge. Get into it. Just get into it. Floor it. I mean, hey, it worked. All right. I know you guys told me not to go around the right side. So what I'm going to do is go around the left side and see if I can do this without uh, basically beaching the trailer. 
Yes, I know it's about to expire. Go away. Easy. Wow, okay, um... Apparently, beaching the trailer was a much more real possibility than I thought it was, because it already happened. Oh, oh, oh! A little bit of speed might, might have been the trick. A little bit of modulating the throttle, maybe? Come on, man. There's There's got to be something. There's got to be something we can do here. Problem is, it's right where the, the rock basically, like... It kind of, like, just juts out into the path of the trailer. And there's very little that can be done about it. Oh, jeez. Oh no! Oh no! That's gone very badly. You know what? You know what? Trailer disconnected. And, oh, there it goes. Oh god, there- what? It's still rolling! Oh my god, it's still going, and now we're going. Hopefully not all the way down there with it, but... You know what? Thankfully, though, it's to the point to where we could reconnect to it if we wanted to. But, yeah, this obstacle has proven to be a lot more difficult than I would have originally expected, even for something with a trailer. You know what I mean? Like, even for something with a trailer, I didn't think it was going to be that difficult. Oh, no, 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 no! Really? Really? And now we roll the crawler off of it? Damn. Well, if y'all enjoyed this video on Off-Road Outlaws and enjoyed this build and enjoyed that trailer towing, I promise I'll get up that obstacle eventually. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Tell me what you thought of it in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more new videos every single day. And I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.